Good evening. The founder of WikiLeaks vowed tonight to continue his work after being freed on bail by a High Court judge. Julian Assange emerged to cheers from his supporters after nine days in solitary confinement in Wandsworth Prison. He's fighting extradition to Sweden, where he's wanted over sex allegations. He denies any wrongdoing and says he's more worried about extradition to America, where the authorities are furious about his controversial whistleblowing website. This report by Paul Davis contains flash photography from the start. Arm aloft, Julian Assange acknowledged his supporters as he walked free from the High Court into the glare of hundreds of camera lights. Well, it's great to smell fresh air of London again. First, some thank yous to all the people around the world who have had faith in me, who have supported my team while I've been away. He had words, too, for the British justice system. To the British justice system itself, where if justice is not always an outcome, at least it is not dead yet. Once again, the eyes of the world were on this man. But it wasn't WikiLeaks on trial as he arrived at court, photographed here in the back of his prison van. This was a hearing to decide whether he would be freed on bail while the Swedish government sought his extradition to answer alleged sex charges. The lawyer representing the prosecution argued there was a real risk of him absconding. Assange's defence argued to the contrary, and Justice Oosley agreed with them. As a condition of the bail, Julian Assange will have to live here at the Suffolk mansion of journalist and former Grenadier Guards Captain Vaughan Smith, who told me why he trusted Assange. Has always done everything I've asked him, always answered every question I've asked him, um, always stuck to his word. Um, he's self-depreciatory, he has good company. Um, and I think, but the thing that I think the judge um, was very clear about is, I, you know, it would do a great deal of harm to what he's doing in his cause if he was seen to have gone. And, and I think that's a, that, I think, was the clincher for the judge as I understood. Assange's mother talked of her delight. I'm very, very happy with the decision. Uh, I can't wait to see my son and to hold him close. Tonight, an armoured Land Rover owned by Vaughan Smith collected Assange from the High Court. His legal team, having successfully persuaded the court that Julian Assange would not, in the words of the judge, do a bunk, he will now be spending Christmas as a house guest at the Suffolk mansion of the Vaughan Smith family. Quite a contrast to the Victorian prison cell where he spent the last week in solitary confinement. Perhaps that's why Assange interrupted his journey to call briefly for a drink at the journalist's frontline club, before revealing his concern was not being extradited to Sweden, but to America. I don't have too many fears about being extradited to Sweden. Uh, there are much bigger concerns about being extradited to the United States. And with that, the whistleblower headed for Suffolk, hopefully in time to meet the 10 o'clock curfew that is one of his bail conditions. Paul Davis. ITV News.